Okay, so here's Jones going to show you a, a demo of how to set up a mind map or a concept map in PowerPoint. First thing I would do, start a new presentation in PowerPoint. Um, normally when you do that, you know, you come out with this kind of stuff. I don't, I don't care about these, so I'm going to delete them. Okay, I'm doing this on a Mac, so your version may be a little different. This is uh, 2007 or whatever, 2008 office. Okay. Anyway, so first thing you do is uh, clear that out, and I'm going to go ahead and get shapes. And I like these rounded rectangles myself because uh, they're prettier. Color relevant, but you know you can tweak that. I usually just draw kind of a medium size rectangle. Then what I'm going to do is. I'm going to make a, a basic box so that I can then copy it. So I make a little rectangle, then I'm going to insert text. And if I have my, my box highlighted with the dots around the corners and I click the text box, it actually puts the text on the shape. So now I can do, let's say I'm going to do testing. Okay. Um, as my topic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this. So I'm going to go and I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to paste it a couple times. And it'll just stack them up like that. And if I just make a couple of those then I can tweak each of these boxes without really having to recreate it. Okay, I'm just going to throw them anywhere. My other ideas that come along with when I think about testing is I think about <clears throat> Um, different types of tests, right? And so different types of tests could be like paper and pencil, right? And some of those paper and pencil tests might be multiple choice, whoops, right? 